Hey guys, welcome to another TPO Fly of the Month. Uh, this month we're going to make a parachute dry fly. This is the one that John from Tightline showed me. It works very well, not just uh, as a dry fly and a dry dropper system, but it actually takes a lot of fish as well. So here we go. For my post, I'm going to use a McFly line. It's a synthetic. All right. Now, I'm going to use hot pink and I'm going to use black. Just little contrasting colors. So here I'm going to split it. Okay, now I'm going to stand it up and I'm going to start wrapping my post. Now, when you do this, it's very important that the post stands upright and it's very, very tough. It doesn't move side to side. It doesn't go all over the place because when you wrap the hackle on it, you need a very stiff post. That almost sounds bad. You need a stiff post in order to support the winding of the hackle. So here, coming around. So here we go. We're we're wrapping the base here. Be careful not to break the thread, but you want to use just enough tension that you come pretty close to breaking the thread. So there we go. There's our post. All right. If you want to take a shortcut, they have this fly tires glue. All right. You could take that right on the uh, base of the post there. This will make it real stiff. Just a little trick. Okay. All right, there we go. Now, for my tails, I'm going to use moose hawk right here. Just a few of them. I'm not going to use a lot. Cut some off. Now, here we have a pinch of them. So now we're going to look for the ones that are about the same length. So there we go, there's our pinch of tails. Let's clean the under fur out. Okay, there we go. Now what this tail is gonna do, because they're hollow, is it's actually gonna float the rear end of the fly to keep it up. So there we go, we're gonna tie them in. Let's make them a little longer here. Okay. There we go. There's my tails. Now, to eliminate thread wraps, I'm just going to take the tails here and just cut them. I'm not going to wrap over them with thread. So now I'm at the rear end of the hook here. I'm going to take my crystal hairs here dubbing. Now I'm going to twist it on. I want to get it really tight. Here we go. Getting there. Okay. Now, I'm just going to wrap this on the over the tail material. If you look, I'm going to somewhat taper this underbody here. Just one more little bit here before I tie it in the hackle. All right. So there. Now, I'm going to take a saddle hackle here. That's, a, that's big enough. All right, now, I'm going to strip some of the under stuff out of there. Okay. 
for here. Okay, now I'm going to tie it in. Like I said, I'm actually going to tie the hackle up the post. Okay, now I'm going to dub the rest of my thorax here. Get it really tight. See the taper? Put a little more dubbing on the thread. Okay. Hope you look. I have a nice tapered underbody here. Now, the key to this is going counterclockwise. So, we're going to start at the top. We're going to wrap down to the bottom. And most people think that it's the parachute post that actually keeps this fly floating well, but that's actually false. It's the air trapped in the hackle fibers. So there we go. Okay. Pull the hackle stem, a couple wraps. Let's clip this excess here. Okay. Gonna whip finish this. Get in here one little bit. Get rid of that. Now we're just gonna trim the post. Just enough to see. There. And there it is. There's your parachute dry dropper dry fly. How about it with that one, guys? Caught a lot of nice fish on that.